This video is brought to you by premiumbeat.com. Do you like boring, plain titles? Well, what's wrong with you? Boring titles are the best. But in this video, I wanna talk about creating really cool individual shadows for your titles. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film and welcome to this video. If you're new to our channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. So this is one of those quick tip tutorials that will help you spruce up your titles really quickly. But before we jump into our tutorial, I want to say thank you to Premium Beat for sponsoring this video. Premium Beat is a royalty-free music provider for your creative video and motion graphic projects. They have an extremely popular library with thousands of songs to choose from, and they have a very easy in-depth search and menu filter system that allows you to quickly find the best songs for your video. So for your next video project, be sure to check out premiumbeat.com. All right, so here we are inside of After Effects, and what's really cool about this is the before and after title. So here's our title shadow, and if I go ahead and just go to our original title, you can easily see that there's a big difference between these two titles. and. To me, this original title here, it's just there, right? But with this title shadow, we don't have to composite the background correctly so we can see our white title a little bit more easily, whereas this is a little bit more difficult. So, so the first thing you really want to do is probably type out your title first, just kind of have it in there, see what it looks like. And then what you're going to want to do is make sure that the paragraph is aligned to the left and, you know, that's all good. So what we'll do here is once your title's you know, set up here, just go ahead and start deleting characters. We'll, we're going to need to go character by character in here and... We're going to have to type out each character into his own individual layer. So what we'll do is once we have our first letter in here, we'll go to edit, duplicate, we can move it over by a little bit and we can type in the second letter and that's an I and we just move this over by a touch. And what we want to do is make sure that these are layered correctly. So we want to make sure that the first letters are on top of each other and it goes into sending order. So we'll bring the I underneath the V and then once again, we'll duplicate this and we'll just move this over and we'll just type out the text and put that below the eye. So now we have all of our letters in here and the goal here is obviously just to kind of overlap the letters a little bit so you can see that each letter is kind of touching each other and we have that layered out correctly in descending order. So now it's very easy to do this. So what we'll do is grab our first letter and we'll go up to layer and we'll go to layer styles and we'll add a drop shadow. And we'll come here to the drop shadow settings and right here in the drop shadow settings, we got to go ahead and change a few things. So first we can talk about the distance. So we might want to increase the distance to like 30 until we kind of see that there. And then we're going to want to soften up the shadow by a touch. So we'll come here to the size and we'll increase this to probably about 30. So we're probably around distance and size around 30 to 40. And then we'll come here to angle and we want this to be like right overlap. So we'll come here to like 180 degrees. And it's pretty much side by side and it's on top of that letter. And that looks cool. And you can change the opacity or lower it depending on how intense you want it to be. I'll keep it where it was at. So that's essentially what, all we have to do. And then what we do here is just copy the drop shadow and we'll paste and we'll go ahead and select all of our other layers and just paste it on there. And now we have our shadows on our title. So, and also what I suggest doing since this is a very clean title, what I like to do is go to layer, new adjustment layer and go to effect, noise and grain. And I'm going to add noise and uncheck use color noise and set this up to like 8%. And this will kind of break things up and make things look a little bit more on a gradient level. And that looks really nice. And also what we can do here is go to layer, new, null object. And we'll grab all of our, you know, letters and we'll parent it to the null object. So now you hit P or S on your keyboard for scale and position. You can easily just move the, you know, word around without having to create a new composition. Of course, you could pre-compose this if you want. But, you know, sometimes I like keep everything in the same composition. And that's essentially how you can do this awesome effect. Now, and what's cool about this technique is now we can animate each individual letter and why not? So what we can do here is, you know, control double click the pan behind tool here at the top and that puts the anchor point in the middle. And we can add a keyframe for scale and move it forward by a few frames and set the scale down to 0%. And we'll select both our keyframes and make them easy ease by hitting F9 on our keyboard. And now we have, you know, one letter popping in here. And then what we can do is just copy this animation. And for the rest of the letters, what we can do is select them all, control, double click the pan behind tool, plus all the anchor points there. And we can copy our scale animation and we can paste it into there and just offset each of these layers just by a few frames. And now we have our very own individual character animation with a drop shadow. And that's really cool. And of course, there's tons of ways you can animate things inside of After Effects. And when I do projects that end up taking a lot of time and end up being, you know, repetitive in the animation, 
I always fall down to one of my favorite extensions in After Effects called Animation Composer, which has over 1000 motion presets that I can easily apply to any layer. So for example, I can come here to our scale folder and select one of my layers here and come here to any of my thousand preset animations and just apply it as in. And it'll automatically apply that animation to my layer within a second. And what's cool about this is I can apply this to multiple layers and you know, easily apply as an out transition as well. But what really was cool is I come here to more tools, come here to transition shifter, and I can come here to the stagger layers at the bottom, set this to five frames and click on do. Essentially, Animation Composer allows you to quickly apply pre-made animations and easily organize them within your timeline so they don't all come in at the same time. So if you want to learn more about Animation Composer and start saving so much time with animation and doing some awesome work, you can check the links in the video description. It'll take you right over to the 1000 motion presets. There's also a pack for 1000 text presets and 1000 3D animation presets. So there's one really cool idea for your creative arsenal, at least I think so. So hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you're new to our channel, be sure to subscribe because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description. And always, be creative.